Cutting Master 5 is a software plugin that works directly with Adobe Illustrator and CorelDRAW to send cut data to your GraphTech cutter. For more information about operation and specifications, please refer to the Cutting Master user's manual. To start using Cutting Master 5 plugin with Adobe Illustrator, go to the File menu. Select Cutting Master 5, then select Send to Cutting Master. When selecting Cutting Master 5, first thing that pops up is the main window. Let's go over the top menu. Starting from the left, you have File, which has two options. One is to add an existing job, and the other one is to quit, which will close your Cutting Master files. Next menu item is Edit, which shows your preferences. You can change your language, unit of measure, and then an option to reset to factory default settings. The third menu item is Help. Here, you can find the user's manual, software license, GraphTech website where you can check for software updates. Directly below the main menu are the view options. First are the magnification icons. Clicking on plus will zoom in. Clicking minus will zoom out. Next is zoom selection. Click and drag to select an area to magnify. Next is the arrow icon. Click and scroll to zoom in and out. The hand is used to grab and move your view to a desired location. Next icon is Fit to Page. Then, Fit to Page Width. Last is Zoom to All Objects, which will expand to show all graphics on the screen. Next, we will go up to the top right where we can add a cutter. Click on the plus icon to add a new cutter. The Cutter Select window will pop up. Clicking on Search will locate any available cutter. Here we have two cutters to choose from. We will click on the FC9000, then click OK. You will see all the information for your selected cutter. You also have an interface option to connect with wireless, LAN, or USB. Click on Connection Test. You will see green letters that say, Connection Test Successful, then click OK. At the top right, you will see a preview of the selected cutter. Here we have eight tabs used to configure the cutting condition settings and operation functions. The first tab on the left is Media Size. This section allows you to manually configure position and size, such as basic zoom in or zoom out and rotation functions. First is Size, currently set to maximum. If you select Pole Size, it will adjust to the corresponding size of the media on the cutter now. Notice below, the software recognizes the width of the current material loaded. Next is Job Position. You can either click and drag or input a value. Note the values change as I drag the artwork. This is so you can position your job exactly where you want. Under the preview, you see a blue arrow and a red arrow. The red arrow indicates the x-axis. The blue is the y-axis. This indicates the direction the machine will be cutting. Next is origin. You can set your origin point to the lower center, lower left or right, wherever you want the job to start cutting. Job size tells you the size of the current job. If you want to enlarge it, you can click or drag. You can input a value or you can change it here. You can also select fit to media or set proportional size. Orientation. Here you can change the orientation of the job being cut. You have the option to rotate or mirror the media. Repeat job allows you to cut the current job as many times as needed. Now going back to the top, the second menu tab is for driver options. This section configures cutting conditions such as blade force and perforated cutting conditions. You can schedule cut jobs by line color, fill color, or by layer. We have three options here. You can select your job by color or by layer. Notice that there are three layers there. We are not going to cut the logo, so we're left with two cut lines. Here is what we will be cutting. You can change the order of the cut jobs by pressing the right arrows here. You will want to do the kiss cut first, and then the perf cut second. Down here, we're going to click on Enable Drive Options, then choose a condition for the kiss cut. 
typically we'll set it at condition 1. Remember you have 8 different conditions so you can choose any one you like. For the perf cut we'll choose condition 2. All the other options below are to reconfigure your cutting plotter. However, it's best to set everything up on the plotter, so all you have to do in this section is set your conditions.